In this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to solve an oblique triangle. In previous class, we have been doing how to figure out a right angle triangle. But in this video tutorial, we would learn how to figure out an oblique triangle. So for that, you must be familiar with the law of sines and cosines. But now, we would learn how to use the law of sine that is a over sine alpha equals b over sine beta equals c over sine gamma but keep in mind alpha beta and gamma are the angles of a triangle you can denote sine a cap with a capital a capital b or capital c it's up to you Okay, so there are different cases for different questions. But today, we will discuss case number one, that is when measures of one side and two angles are given. When measures of one side and two angles are given, we should have to use the law of sine. Okay, let's take an example. First triangle beta angle beta is 60 degrees angle gamma is 15 degrees and the value of B B is a side of a triangle that is under root 6 okay so because in a triangle there are six parts three sides and three angles two angles are given and one side is given so we can easily figure out the third angle of a triangle by using alpha beta the sum of alpha beta and gamma equals 180 degrees and gamma and beta are given that is alpha plus 60 degrees plus 15 degrees equals 180 degrees so alpha would be 16 plus 15 it would be 75 and 180 degrees minus 75 that would be 105 degrees okay now now we need to figure out how we would choose law of sine so law of sine says that a over sine alpha equals b over sine beta equals c over sine gamma so we can write a over sine alpha equals b over sine beta and b over sine beta equals c over sine gamma so we're going to choose b over sine beta equals c over sine gamma and because b is given in the question so we're going to solve this equation for C. So C would be just like if you would multiply sine gamma on both sides. So you would be able to set up an equation that would be C equals B over sine beta times sine gamma. Just you need to plug in all the values b is under root 6 times sine gamma gamma is 15 degrees over sine beta beta is 60 degrees it would be sine 60 degrees use your calculator and figure out the value of c that would be 0 0.73 Okay, now we have to figure out the value of A. We got B, we got C, and B is already given. Now we have to figure out the value of A. Again, we would use law of sine. That is A over sine alpha equals B over sine beta. Okay, so A would be B times sine alpha over sine beta. Just plug in the values 
a would be the value of b is under root 6 times sine alpha sine alpha is 105 degrees over sine beta sine beta beta is 60 degrees just plug in 60 degrees use your calculator again and try to figure out this equation you would find a equals 2.73 and keep in mind these values the length of these uh, the length of trial triangle it can be in centimeter or meter or it could be any unit okay let's take another example Now it's given that A is 47, sorry, alpha is 47 degrees and gamma is 53 degrees and the value of B is 125. Pause the video and try to figure out the oblique triangle. Just set up a triangle the length of p is 125 gamma is 53 degrees and alpha is 47 degrees first of all you need to find out the third angle that's pretty easy and after that use law of signs to figure out the values of sides of a triangle okay so quickly you would use alpha plus beta plus gamma equals 180 degrees and plugging these two angles in this equation you would be able to find the value of beta that would be just 80 degrees now you would have to use the law of sine a over sine alpha equals b over sine beta and value of a would be b times sine alpha over sine beta just plug in the values the value of b is 125 times sine alpha alpha is 47 degrees over sine beta beta is 80 degrees use your calculator and you would get 92.84 okay you got a equals 92.84 again use law of sign use law of sign that would be b over sine beta equals c over sine gamma and b would be b would be c yeah, we got B already, but we need to figure out the value of C. C equals B times sine gamma over sine beta. Just plug in the values. B is 125 times sine 53 degrees over sine 80 degrees. Again, you would use calculator and... The answer would be exactly 101.37. Hope you would find it helpful.